In the meantime, the former governor of Rivers State and current minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Nyonse Wiki, has again expressed regret for helping Simin Alayi Babora uh, to become the governor of the Oil Rich State. Wiki, while addressing a crowd of supporters in Portakot over the weekend, said the governor displayed a high level of pretense and deceived him to work towards him becoming the governor. Wiki has been at daggers drawn with his successor, Governor Favara, uh, for many months now, and now Faceoff appears a long way from resolution. And now to further discuss this, I am joined by engineer Biopo Awara, is a former AAC governorship candidate of the state, and he joins me now. Welcome, and thank you so much for joining me, and a very good morning to you. But let's get started very quickly. What are your thoughts? Thank you so much. Most welcome. What are your thoughts on the conflicts between the former and current governor so far? The very truth is that uh, what is happening is just like karma playing out. I do not want to agree with uh, the minister that the governor was pretending as of the time when he picked him to be a candidate of PDP. You know, once, once, whatever you sow, you will definitely read. So it's what he has shown that is coming to play. It's not that the governor, I don't think the governor was pretending as a time of selection who will be the candidate. Any person that he will have picked will have also acted the same way because he has shown this and he just to read. You know, he did it to the man that made the local government, Senor Dumbata. He was pretensive and uh, uh, Mbata brought him local government chairman. He, he did that pretense to Amechi and became minister. He did that pretense to uh, Jonathan and became governor. He's also doing the same pretense to the president. Uh, I know he will also act when the, gov when the president does not act well with him. He will also do the same. But it's just karma that is visiting him, not anything. It's just karma. I mean, you say karma, but I think of it. I think of it as politicking in and of itself. If you need a favor or if you need support, you're going to play the games of politics. But besides politicking and the game of it, let's talk about you know the state. I mean, I'm not um, an indigent of the state, but from the outside looking in, I can only wonder what it's like with this conflict, right? And how you know the conflict between the past and the current governor affects the delivery of even the basics of services and infrastructure. In the, in the state, but you are uh, an indigent. What, how would you say this has affected it, or has it even affected basic services and delivery uh, when it comes to governance? What is affected is the political, political scenario, political atmosphere, where politicians are looking for where they can angle. That's what has affected. But for infrastructural uh, development, I don't think it has affected. It, because you know what will have driven investors out of the state is uh, insecurity, and that has not happened. So, infrastructurally, the state is moving forward. The other day, I saw the governor inspecting the ring road that uh, is like a mega project. Uh, I saw him uh, inspected the Andoni, Andoni Unity Road. So, other infrastructures are going on. There's one particular project that was abandoned by Amechi was abandoned by Wiki. If you get to GRA Junction in Portacourt, there is a spire that on May has started. And if infrastructural development is not going on, that, that mall will not be visited. Uh, so I, I think the infrastructural development is going on. But the political actors are not in, at peace because they don't know where to perch. They don't, they don't know where to, to, where to go to. But even at that place, you can also see it because every day people are moving to the governor. I think it's a, it's a great concern for the minister. That's why he's, he's, he's ranting. That's why he's complaining. That's why he's, very soon you see him call media houses and be talking because it's actually pinching him. A resolution at the end of the day, right? It, 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 I mean, with the conflict, with the you know, headlocks that we see, how can the conflict be resolved in a way that the, you know, it's beneficial to the people of River State and does not further exacerbate, you know, tensions? Is this even possible, given the current state of affairs? It's possible if the minister, if the minister, yes, on Wiki, will, will have the interest of the state and stop this uh, this uh, 2027 calculation to make sure that 
the man fails and River State be on standstill. He can actually put a stop to it. When local government chairman started uh, raising up their heads and he put a stop to them, at least they have stopped. So I, I think he has a big role to play in, in this conflict to be resolved. Uh, uh, for political scenario, I know that what is afraid of, if he comes down of, of losing ground, he can see gain more ground, can see gain pity from the people. But going on like this, he's been he's been disliked. Let me not use the word hate. He's been disliked by rivers people going on every day. Well, they gave him the same support when he was governor, and was they they showed this dislike to Amechi. So if he can come down from his eye ox and come down to say, okay, leave us first, then we'll have it best. It's not by which hunting everybody that want to, everybody must be loyal to him. Everybody must bow to him. No, it can't be, it can't be. Even if you are your own child, there's a time the child will tell you that, daddy, I'm a man. For now, we have a governor and you can't joke with the office of the governor of River State. He knows what it is, he was a governor. So he knows the powers of the governor and what the people seems to gain from the people, from the governor. And they will always go go for him. He com he's complaining about uh, every day they are doing Thanksgiving. He also did the same. The man learned from him. So the man is also showing the same thing. He, he learned from the man. So he should not complain. When he was doing it, everybody was, uh, everybody was, was enjoying it. They were playing music. It has come to its own corridor, so it should not complain uh, and make sure that uh, he fight from from up. It should fight that is at the federal level project back to River State. But we have not seen any project he has brought to River State. Just that he was abusing Amechi of not bringing any project. We have not seen any project he has brought to River State. What we want from him is not to fight the governor, bring rivers projects that are meaningful to rivers people. That's what we want. That's what we want from him. Right. Um Look, uh, it's uh, the conflict, when, when you think about it, it must come to an end, end right? It, it has to come to an end, at least for the future of, 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 of the state and also for, you know, uh, being able to consolidate on the past and, you know, uh, continuum when it comes to governance in and of itself. And that's what we, we thrive for. Um, so do you think that it's going to be a joint effort with, you know, CSOs, you know, stakeholders, you know, the community, you know, um, elder statements that have to call these men to order and ask them to resolve this thing once and for all and if that doesn't happen what would then be the implications of this conflict for say an upcoming elections in the state okay the likely persons that would have would have brought peace are the elders of the state which he does not respect the other day he was calling um the former governor peter Odele and his wife one man one woman a man that dis disregard people, how do you think they, he will, when they go to him for peace, he will accept? Like I told you, the politicians are the people that are even uh, fueling all these things. In the picture that you showed, you could see the uh, the APC Kateka chairman standing. What is he standing there? Is it APC function? So these are persons that want to fuel to just to get one thing or the other from him. But we as individuals, as uh, stakeholders of the state, who beg him, we are begging him, we are on our knees begging him, please, let's stop this thing. 2027 is too far. He's thinking that the next election he will conquer. It's not done that way. I mean, she was a minister, a super minister, and he felt that he could take, he could take over in 2019. It didn't work. You know, I was, a, I was principal to all these things. And... I, I feel God gives power. When, once you have that, don't 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 boast that you can remove the person that is in power. But if God wants him to continue, he will. If not, I will have I will have sacked him from government when when I when the 2019 election was conducted. And God worked for him. The same God is still available. If he does not want peace, if he does not want peace, God will still maintain peace in the state. God does not need him. To maintain peace and I, I know that the political atmosphere then will be more, more sanitized we don't know what will happen and, and when we play God, it pains me because we don't know whether we'll be alive to even see the 2027 but I, I will beg him i will beg the president 
I would beg the president, please call into order. National Security Advisor, please talk to him. Let's have peace. I, people are talking to the uh, to the governor. The governor is always ready to have peace. The people of the state, they are waiting for him to come back as their illustrious son to have peace. But we don't want this uh, uh, fight uh, or uh, political struggle to tear the state the more. If you look at it now, right. the, the state is disintegrated in several all parts. Right. We have the ones that are following all the ones that are following Wiki, the ones that are following Amici, right. the ones following Wiki, now the ones following uh, Fobara. And, we don't need that. We need one state, one particular state, please. Angela, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you for doing this with us. And that was my thank guest there. Thank you so much. There. I appreciate it.